while since I did a video for you guys. Uh, this one's gonna be regarding my third brake light. Uh, recently, well, for a while I known that it leaked, but I wasn't aware how much it leaked. So you guys can see the water line or the water stain. Uh, just the other day, it was pouring super hard, and right there by the by my dash cam, this, that's the back part of the dash cam. Um, it was like no lie, a drip every like half a second um it was coming down from somewhere in the center so i never saw it uh, drip that much so today i'm gonna remove it and then i'm gonna be in, um running a, a little bead of uh this right here uh this butyl rubber butyl this is the one that i use for my lights so, and I know it worked there, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna work there. And this one's a little thick, so I think it's like 3 eighths of an inch. Yep, 3 eighths by 15 feet. So I'm just gonna run a bit, a, a little bead all around, all around the third brake light. Um, so hopefully that'll keep the water out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it, and I believe it's two T15 uh, screws. So I'm gonna go up there and remove that. All right, so they're actually T20s, two of them. And let me show you guys, hopefully you guys can see it on the camera. There's a, there's quite a gap right there in between those. And I can see down quite a bit. So, definitely the water sipping through there. So after you remove those screws, it just pops off. And I already started cleaning one side so you guys can see the water sipping through the top most likely and this is your liner in there so that's where it's getting wet um, yeah because this other side is kind of sealed off so it has to be dripping in through there and it has to be only I guess in a certain way when it rains and then this is the gasket that came with this light uh, pretty thin it doesn't cover much it's flush with the light over here if it had a little more cushion, um, it would cover more, but you guys can see the dirt that's uh, building up on the light. So I'm going to clean up the light, clean out this, add my uh, seal, and I'll be back to show you guys. Alright, so here it is. I added my little bit of uh, that rubber butyl window seal all around, and I left two openings on the corners on the bottom in case the water does get in. Uh, it has a way to travel out So hopefully that works and it doesn't come back to bite me um, But I'm just gonna try to squish it in a little bit and I'm hoping thinking This gonna be that's gonna be it and it's gonna work. So I'm gonna try to install the light now and hopefully hopefully it fits in perfect All right, so I got the light back in place. I had to squish the seal a little bit um, so the light can go in a little further in. Uh, but it seems to have gotten it all around. Now I'm hoping that's gonna make a complete seal and hopefully it's gonna go work. So we'll test it um, pretty soon. There's supposed to be some sort of a hurricane, tropical storm moving into uh, Texas. So I think tomorrow's supposed to be raining. Right now it's already sprinkling. So we'll test it and well hopefully it works and um, I'll write an update on the description of this video. So I'll see you guys on the next one.